one day it looked like he was wearing a grill one night i was watching the lakers i tweeted that shit but i, I guess I that. that's what made i'm me like of it. am i tweaking <laughs> it's like when solomon hill was wearing a do rag he was what the like, was he was he was he not i saw and, the dude uh, who popped up on my uh instagram reels the other day who was wearing the double headband oh, on the books God. Somebody wow. had a double headband a on the books? It was like 20 years ago. Oh, I'm about to say, I thought it was the same game. Oh, I, thought, I thought it was like something happening like now. I'm like, damn. And then who they brought said this you shit couldn't back? do it like the next day. You know, like, the NBA <laughs> the NBA was banning all type of shit. It was ban- they banned the, the ninja headband, which I thought that shit was dope. They, the ninja headband was dope. I fuck with that a lot. I got, um, I got a couple of those. When, you do? I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Uh, I did. I should get one now. Uh, Jr. with his supreme sleeve. That shit was hard, <laughs> but you know NBA wasn't gonna go for that shit. I don't even know how he thought that shit was gonna happen. How he think that he shit was gonna it. work? <laughs> it's funny. Jr. Trying to get that. Jr. Placement. wasn't thinking that shit was cold. I'm like, damn, he got a supreme sleeve on. Like, what the fuck? First of all, I don't buy shit supreme. I don't know if y'all do, but let I've me never. tell you something. Nah, dog. All they doing is just. Slapping Supreme on some shit. Hey, when it was popping, I did not have any bread. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, they do have some hard shit sometimes. I was but certain 16 things, years old. I did not have the money for no Supreme. Yeah, at that time, that shit was jumping hard at that time. Like it, at that at that time, Supreme was hard. But Especially now, the now cool stuff. Yeah, the entry but now price was like, bad enough. Yeah, it's it's like I do want like the uh the little rim they have for like putting your office and shit. But I just can't. I'm paying for you <laughs> slapping Supreme on it. You know what I'm saying? Playing for the for a little DIY placement. session going. You know what I'm saying? Like they Probably put like good. the Supreme. You put this, the Supreme on the uh, Air Force Ones and shit. Dog, you made a uh, you made a hundred dollar shoe be three hundred, four hundred because you put no. I'm straight. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm straight. I feel you. But, uh, I'm not. Welcome back to another week of Uncommon Commentators. Jay Jonah and Zoe is here with a special guest by the Sling. The sling is here. We are here. Hey, how you can't... how you feeling? I'm doing good, man. Uh, it's sore because I've been having to do shit, but I can feel my my uh, shoulder being fixed. I can feel it like it's 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 done. I can feel no you can separation. Feel it now. Yeah, like it's like oh yeah, it's there. So now I'm just in the healing process. I gotta keep this on for like another week or two. I have to be like this all That's day. Not bad at all? No, no, no. Yeah, so like three weeks. So I'll go back to the doctor on the 20th and Could we go worse. from there. Yeah, probably going to start therapy and shit like that. Mm, I think I'll be I think I'll be straight straight Return. by May, like for real, like for real. I already talked yeah, to the guys from softball. I'm coming back. I'm I already <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm back. This I'm going to be there. This man loves his softball. Love it, it dog. It was almost taken from him. He ready to play. Almost. Man, dog. Man, I'm ready to, I'm ready to play. I'm ready. But uh, man, how was y'all I still weekend? Never seen I know somebody hit a ball so damn far to this day, <laughs> and that was a video. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm gonna bring them videos back. I'm gonna bring them back, please. That's oh, a real definitely, throwback. That was. I do. I do. That was uh, right when I got to. I got to know you when you were really yeah. Grounded. Uh, tw- <laughs> so people know I do 12 inch. Like it's a competitive league. And them videos you saw though, like I was hitting that ball like the farthest one was like 420. That's what. That's Jesus. fucking wild. 12 inch softball. I'm hitting that 220. Just pitcher <laughs> throw the ball and run in a straight line. Backwards. Oh, my. Man, look. Get out so the like way. The, the fence straight away is 300 feet center field. And then the corners is 290. I clear that shit. If I connect, I'm clearing. You were clearing. I remember you cleared the, <laughs> that fence. It was yeah, no doubt nukes. it was gone. I didn't know how far, but damn. <laughs> yeah, dog. It was, I'd be clearing that shit. But, uh, Man, how y'all did y'all enjoy the Super Bowl and shit, man? No, I enjoyed half time about, and, and the we didn't half. talk about the Super Bowl that one time in a group chat. Not one time. Hey, Twitter had enough entertainment. We are all just kind of we we're all in yeah. There. And then I still felt like Super Bowl week was kind of low key this week. I felt like is it I was. didn't like tune when you said I didn't that, tune into no media shit or nothing. Yeah, you think some like quotes would have popped up, but it was real quiet. It was quiet. Was it because like? No one really gave a fuck about these two teams outside of the fan bases. Probably because it was a rematch. Yeah, yeah, like even though it was what four the years ago, it's still the same. Yeah, it was still the same thing. I feel like 
Maybe the second half was Patrick... pretty fun though. I enjoyed the second, second half. half. Was the second half was fun. I will tell you that. Was it? Yeah, it was ugly. It was defense for sure, and it was running that ball. The, it was the Niners controlled that shit. Defense. It was too because in the second half <laughs> it was more of the defense is actually being good and the offense being stopped rather than the offense just being bad. That's yeah. the that's the big and big that's, movement that's the thing. Right and, there. And Mr. Kyle Shanahan. Bro, he was throwing it like, bro, why aren't you running the ball? Like every time the ball. Every they time made... he got the ball, they couldn't they was getting positive yards damn near every time Christian McCaffrey touched the rock. And they knew what was coming and they still couldn't like I didn't I didn't understand that. It felt good though know. watching they... that game, not being a fan of either team. I didn't care who won. Oh, facts. I didn't care who lost. Like I was just watching football. Like it was just another game. Yeah, the Chiefs nice won halftime hey. show. Patrick Mahomes got another one. Niners won. They finally won again. Like, it wasn't like I didn't give a fuck. Like, it was Eagle fans was getting into what Niners fans last night, Cowboy fans. I'm like, dog, y'all didn't even play in the Super Bowl. Oh, it is. Yeah, it was, oh, it was it entertaining, is. though. It was entertaining. Huh. It was. It's I enjoyed it. Like, it was, people. Damn. Yeah, it was, it was low key. I enjoyed that shit. But now football's over. With. We got basketball, we got baseball on the way. I'm ready. These weekends are getting loaded with hoops with college. College Saturdays have been hitting. Fun. Fun. Men and women. And then we got the afternoon NBA games. Oh, my God. <laughs> Matinee. <laughs> listen. Snuck that one Zoe, in. you oh, said it. Zoe, Zoe, you said it right. Matinee games with the sun shining, that shit just mm. hit different. When the sun that shining is warm heart. outside, you be like, yo, spring is on the way. It's like 60 degrees for no damn reason. No mm-hmm. reason on Saturday. With good ba- with some time. good basketball on. Oh my god. I Frank enjoyed it. Oh window my open. god. Door door cracked Lines up a little open. bit with the breeze coming in. Sun shining. Watching Luca See at two o'clock. Outside. Right. People walking down the street, you know, like, okay. Okay. But it that was that that was fun. I'm glad. That's the one thing about football leaving. You got so much shit coming. Like it made me excited for baseball season to come up. And oh my god, baseball! We still got three more months of, of hoops left. We yes, got March Madness coming up. Yes, for both sides, y'all should watch both sides of March Madness. You should definitely, y'all should do that. Stagger it out too. You don't it, gotta interject. I don't never. I never do this, but y'all want to do a um a bracket for the women's side. Like we ain't gotta like. Yeah, we don't want to do it on here. We could if we want to do it on here. We can still do that. I, I don't never know do that. About the teams like I do, man. Yeah, like I know, I the know top teams, but I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, like I know a few out of there, like more than hey, a it's few, all but good fun. Let's yeah, go it's all good fun because it's gonna be like because one thing. Uh, no, right I'm, now, not, I'm not talking <laughs> the money on it. Nah, one thing nah, about good. women's uh, college hoops is that you're gonna be right nine times out of ten. Usually, it's rarely gonna be upset. The good teams are really <laughs> damn so, like, good. The elite eight. <laughs> yes. Yeah, final until the lead eight, final four is when you start seeing a top team might lose. But outside of that, you're going to see, like, the top two seeds almost from every bracket being there in, in women's. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how it is. There's no, every, there's no shot. Every team coming into it. Yeah, there's no always. shot to them. We love women's hoop, but it's like, it's not that deep those, over there those yet. good teams are just so good. Yeah, like, they go, like, the top players go to the top programs and everything else just – Divvy out, you know what I'm saying? Like, but all right, man. I want to, you know, talk too much about football. We know why we're here. We hear about basketball, you know. You know, have, have us a trade hey. deadline seems forever ago. It does already. It does it does? Um, these type of tweets. Before I do get started, real quick, is always funny to me. Somebody had tweeted, uh, the NBA Finals last year was better than this Super Bowl. And I was just like, yo, that was probably one of the worst finals in the last decade, the, the Heat and the Nuggets. Not saying because the Nuggets won. It was just no competition. It was like, there was never like a, the Heat is going to win this ever. It always felt like a sweep. So I thought, I think that's how we get this fun. <laughs> yeah, so I end up being like, me and a dude end up following each other, but he's a Nuggets fan, so that's how I found that out. So that tweet made sense. I get it. I don't get mad about <laughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But just don't oh, even put on... that tweet out if you know you're a fan of one of the teams. Come on now. Yeah, exactly. Um, like Jonas said, the trade deadline seems forever ago. I mean, that was just Thursday, but Thursday seems forever ago. 
Uh, some like of the Kevin bigger ones. A little bit. I got to watch some of these games. I got to see oh, some yeah, guys see, play already. Yeah, facts. Like we got to see it real quick. Um, some of the bigger ones. We're gonna start with the Knicks. You know, the Knicks is just the Knicks, but they end up trading away Quinn Grimes, Malachi Flynn, uh, Evan Fournier. Like a as a buyout. I think he's getting bought out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah two. Take two second round picks, and I always fuck up his name. Ryan, how you say his last name? Archidiacono. Archidiacono. They, I knew some, one of y'all gonna know. The, <laughs> the Pistons Vince traded. Legend. The Pistons got all of that, and the Knicks got uh, Bojan and Alec Burke. I'm already seeing Nick fans on Twitter tonight as we speak saying these Alec Burke minutes are rough. <laughs> yeah, that's what the trade went with down. Alec Burks. Alec Burks is thing. a roller coaster. That's right. what My guy said the same thing. Is like, yo, if that shot it comes around, he's he was on the team like not, four years ago. Dog, y'all got rid right. of him. He was. Right. Why well. he on the Knicks? Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought, bro. He should know this. You should bro, know the like, experience. Them getting Bojan. Bojan was like the. I think that's how you say his name. Bojan. Bojan. I don't Bojan. want to fuck on nobody's name, Bojan, but He's I Bogey. think them getting him yeah. really solidified that trade for them. If they only got Alec Burke, it was like, Ugh. Well, the reporting was so weird with it. We originally just got it set up as like Burks for Grimes, and that's all we knew. That's and all we like, knew. Did the Pistons N- cook here? And then we're like, Nick, oh, yeah, Nick they got Bogdanovich too. And we're like, Yeah, ah. Nick fans were so mad about that shit. They couldn't believe that shit. They're like, What? That's all we got? But, um, you know, this I feel like this trade is good for the Knicks. Um, I don't think they really got the main thing they needed was another, like, shot creator. They didn't get that. I don't really know. Bogdanovich can, like, close out a possession, but you're not going to, yeah. like, initiate a set for him. Or, like, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna exactly. Gonna start cooking. If the shot clock is going like down. a couple dribbles and get you yeah. a nice, quick, like, tough bucket, but. Yeah, exactly. In the playoffs, like you need at least two of them people who can break some shit down when it's down to two seconds left on the clock in the in the playoffs. The Knicks did not go get that. Now, we still not gonna know how this trade gonna actually really look until everybody get healthy, because they're just they're down. Like to a match bad. unit. Yeah, like yeah. That lineup they had run in post deadline <laughs> when they had injuries <laughs> and the traded guys, they had like seven active players. Yeah, it was bad. Bad. And Charlie so, Brown playing out there. Yeah, it was bad. Like, so it was like, I don't even know if is Brunson back from his ankle injury. He played tonight. Okay, that's what I think. So you gotta wait for OG. Now he just has surgery on his elbow. I think moving. he's three, three to four weeks. They're saying. Yeah, yep. yeah. Then we still waiting on. Um, I think Randall's Randall pretty much coming. same timeline. Yeah, so we're really not gonna we'll know see how what that trade's gonna post deadline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Robinson yeah, that's basically what they back, said. What? Late Who March, knows something Mitch, like that. Yeah. 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 So we don't really know how that's going to be for the Knicks. Um, I still like it, but I don't think it helped with their main their main issue. Another ball handler in the closing minutes. So or closing seconds or just just somebody who can just take the ball from Brunson. Get a bucket. Yeah. If I you think saw going to fill Go going to fill that a little bit when he gets back. Obviously, you know, he can create his own shot. Yeah. I like what they did getting some more shooting too, but Come playoff time between Brunson and Randall, I feel like that's a pretty good one too to go get you a bucket. You know, yeah. six seconds left on the clock, end of the game, end of the quarter. OG can shoot, Bogdanovich can shoot, Burks can shoot. I mean, their yeah. the biggest issue we talked about too is like their bench was just they only traded one ben, bench option and got two of them. First of all, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and they're already working yeah. with scraps right now. Yeah, so they, you know they need that when you got Tibbs as your coach. Tibbs gonna work your ass to death, so they need all the depth they can get. And they're like what, 10, 11 deep? Fully, yeah. fully healthy? 10, 11 deep? And, and with that being said, some things, see what they like. Yeah. If Tibbs can get, I feel like the t- Tibbs can definitely get this team to the Eastern Conference Finals just the way he coached and the way this team was actually built. But it's just going to really be, depend on matchup for them. Um, I still think I they would, can make it that I far. Agree. You know what I'm saying? I still think they can make it that far, but it really, really going to depend on that second round matchup. I think they can get the first round. They're good enough for that. This is um, crazy. They got rid of a guy who was on a bad contract and Grimes, who didn't even have all of Tibbs trust and was in and out of the rotation. 
for like two upgrades pretty much. So they did cook I mean, though. Just, they did they, that, they did do good. Even if it's contract. not perfect, it's an upgrade. Yeah. yeah, that Fournier contract being what eighteen mil. That was, that was so bad. Any big I can't name. believe so I can't contracts believe contracts will always still help you out if you got something to yes. play along with. Yeah, because I couldn't All believe Nick fans like that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick Nick fans was they Holmes like been his... getting passed around. Yep. He has. Now that you say that, he has been getting passed around. It happens. You ain't lying. Damn, I never thought about that. Sometimes a bad contract will help. Shit, look at um. You gotta have a really Russell. bad deal for you to be. Well, look at Russell Westbrook. A terrible contract, and he kept getting moved around. Terrible ass contract, and it happened. Who else got a Chris terrible Paul. contract? Chris Paul, another one who I fucking forgot was even on the Warriors once again until <laughs> Saturday. He showed up the other night, yeah, hugging and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I forgot. I keep forgetting he's on that damn team until I'm watching them and they show him. But does he travel with them when they go on road games? I feel like I don't see him all the time. Kind of depends for some guys. Him. Yeah, I feel like I don't see him all the time. But yeah, that's what I thought. But uh, um, yeah, about to. So, how do y'all feel about it? Do y'all still think they can? It ain't really like the big move. How you feel? They just got deep, like you said, a little pause. Uh, deeper bench, some shooting. <laughs> uh, on paper, they look good. I think they can make it to the Eastern Conference Finals too. I'm with you right there. Yeah, I do. Like, and people think that's it like doesn't hurt. That's not out of that's. I don't think that's no going off of the limb saying the Knicks can make the East Conference Finals. Like, I don't understand how that a uh, how. I heard that's I heard a, some people saying they got the Knicks top two right now and slid Milwaukee down. After the trade, I was feeling like that. Man, you can do that. It's not crazy. Milwaukee is that defense is suspect. So, so suspect. bad, so bad. Like. That's all effort. When you watch the Bucks with their defense, a lot of that shit be effort, man. Like, and we've it's seen just those not highs what we used of to. the Knicks this year. We've yeah. seen what they're capable of this year. Yes. Yep. And Still Brunson, playoff performer, yep. he's gonna get it done. You can trust him yep. there. So you already have a lot of factors. I do think. I do think um, Julius Randle definitely has to perform this these playoffs, or I feel like he's not gonna be in New York no more. It really might come to that. Hey, yeah, he had the number really, one option, so he's that's yeah. all that matters. Yeah, so he still oh, he, hey, just do your shit, do your thing. But I still if the jumper is falling, it's a wrap. Twenty ten and four. It's and that's what exactly man. what I was about to say. That's all you got to do. And I was seeing people like Shaq. Why well, always got to be people? I, one of my favorites. Why you got to say the Cavs is so much more over the Knicks? It's the same team. And the Knicks just beat their ass last year in five. Was it five? Five, yeah, five. So a lot. I get it. Knicks, the the Cavs are hot right now, but nothing about the Cavs screams me to me. Eastern Conference Finals and Finals. Nothing about that team. Nothing. I can see Conference Finals with them. Really? But I'm just genuinely high on the Cavs. I got second. Oh, I got, I got you. second round written on them. Yeah, I think, like I got. I mean, Lavert's been doing solid for them. He's actually been like consistent for once, which is crazy. He's healthy. I think I see Karis Lavert stringing <laughs> together games like this. Been hoping for it yeah. as long as he has existed. <laughs> hoping for it. <laughs> um, and then they got Struce shooting. I mean, Okoro is not the best shooter, but he's doing better. I think this those more options will. I think it's it's very matchup dependent with them. Where the Knicks, yeah, that's what I, that's teams. what I think. Like, I think if they match up with someone like the Knicks. I think it's, it's over. It's, it's over for them. I, I really do. I think they I think it's gonna be someone like last year. But I ain't gonna go too deep into that. I just, I just feel like people just really. I get it's the Knicks and everybody's always crazy every year about the Knicks. But I feel like this year, it's different with this team. And it's it's different this year. If you've been watching the different. games, that whole like Knicks dialogue stigma thing. Yeah, you don't even think about it. Yeah, so it's like, like you, you just. Just watch, just watch, just watch them play some basketball. Yeah, just watch just them go out this and get year. Get a bunch of friends to who for your just, for your franchise. Just tune in. <laughs> yeah, just tune in. <laughs> just tune in. Uh, y'all, y'all got anything else about the Knicks before we move on? So we got a few. We we ain't gonna try to have it be a long show. We got some shit to talk about. We're gonna try to get through this shit fast, but bear with us. We got some things to talk Trying about. To minimize the, the important trades, yeah. the ones we want to talk about. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um. I don't think we got. I don't yeah, think Nina Bowen was having anything over here. 
Please don't. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Go We're ahead. not going to do that. Um, The Mavs had a trade, two trades that I thought made them better right away. And it might have, it was one game, but it might have showed on Saturday. But the Mavs acquired uh, PJ Washington. I did not know the two second round picks. How the fuck they get picks, too? That's crazy. That's crazy. And the Hornets. Up first. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Then the Hornets so yep. acquired uh, Grant Williams, Seth Curry, and a 2027 first round pick. Uh, that was the first trade for the Mavs. Um, the Mavs also requ- acquired Daniel Gafford, which I still love that young man. I wish the Bulls, oh, the Bulls God. trade around, the Bulls trade the wrong people every time. Every time. Every time. But he's still what he was as a prospect, but he's good at what he does. He, he, he does his contract. He tries. It was like five mil over four years. Come on, man. Why would you not just keep that man? Dumb. All right, go but, ahead, go uh, ahead. They got um, Gaffer and the Wizards got Rashawn Holmes, uh, 2024 first round pick via OKC. I already said how I felt about it, kind of pretty much. Give me y'all thoughts on the trade. Let the people know. Hey, that first quarter <laughs> the other day was looking smooth. Very smooth. Yeah, that first quarter. <laughs> Luca, Luca needs more options around him. It's crazy to think that they have a rotation of big men between. I mean, PJ, you can throw in that four or five if you want to, but yeah. he's kind of versus how. But mm-hmm. just general and like centers between Gafford and Lively when he comes back over what they oh, had with Dwight God. Powell for like three years is crazy. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, he was only playing because he could catch lobs from Luka and screen for him pretty much. That's, that was that's, kind that's, of that's that pretty much. That's definitely what that was. You just hit it on the head. That's definitely. And Gafford's just a better version of that like Gafford yeah. the defense isn't perfect but he'll block shots he will he'll block shots, he will rebounds he gonna do what he gotta oh. do you need the those role players so much better he's a high energy guy too so as soon as so he's on better. the floor you're gonna get a nice little burst I think Lively will take the starting spot back once he's healthy oh but, yeah yeah I mean I Gafford feel like is your backup Gaff- when you used to have Dwight Powell starting what that's, come on man I take that all day <laughs> they 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 can be scary, man. They can be scary. Dallas, I don't put nothing past nobody in the Western Conference going forward. Like past nobody, is Jonah still there? Nah, Jonah froze. Jonah is not here. We're gonna keep talking until Jonah Jonah comes back. Yeah, I think he's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh, right. is back. he there? We back. <laughs> we yeah. back. But no, we were still just talking about the Mavs trade. Uh. That uh, I think this is gonna, I think it's gonna work for the Mavericks. I think they're gonna be scary. I I don't put nothing past nobody in the West. I feel like this is this year that really anybody. I know we got like the the Nuggets, but I feel like anybody at the wrong time this year can lose. You don't want to face them in the first round. Hell no. You don't. No. It's gonna be tough matchups, and if Tim Hardaway you Jr. Don't. PJ Washington, if they're knocking down shots, if Maxi Kleber. Is knocking down uh, shots hold on. a long night. Listen, and they got two <laughs> of some of the best shot creators, bucket getters you can have. Luca and Kyrie? You don't want to play this team Kyrie's, in the first round. You don't. The you one don't. Kyrie's second that fiddle can... to Luca. Yeah. It's been a it's been an interesting combo, but because Luca just goes off when he wants to and yeah. Kyrie becomes a spot up shooter. But Honestly, it's still that threat that he can go get you dirty. Enough. I think night. I think at some point in Luca career, and I think Jonah talked about this at one point, either on here or just on Twitter, that Luca might I think it was you, Jonah. Luca might have to like switch that play style. I'm not saying be drastic like how it was with LeBron and Kyrie, but LeBron let Kyrie get more shots. You know what I'm saying? I think I think it's just been so much of the team around him has made him kind of turn into that. It's put him in that mode. Yeah. Because, like, you might be like, receiving. I mean, it was you talking about it. It was you. That was you. You know like, that. Is that the best option? It probably is low key. Yeah. Is it no, the it best all the time? It definitely was. Yeah, before Kyrie flows, got there. Def- but <laughs> yeah. You're not going to say Grant Williams to take no, all these open shots. Hell and no. Me. No. Like, you definitely aren't going to say no shit like that. So. It was more so like I see that now, like 
if it switches to where, because man, Luca is Luca is ball dominant. Like he is going to control the rock, yo. Like people are trying to compare Looks him to LeBron. Crazy. LeBron is <laughs> LeBron was ball dominant as well, but when he finally got somebody like a Wade or like a Kyrie, he he know how to divvy that, especially when he got Kyrie. He learned how to like Luca's used to just more like a Houston Harden. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to say, and, Harden, and Harden never really had that shit. Like when he was when Harden was Harden, Harden didn't have nobody. Like I, he had Chris Paul and Russ, but they're not. Kyrie. That was before he was like. I feel like when he was really going crazy, it's when he didn't have the options around him. Yeah, he did mm-hmm. not have the options when he was averaging like thirty. Was it like thirty seven? He averaged one. Second. Yo, that's Eric Gordon was your second he option. He had no damn choice, <laughs> right? Like, no. yeah, I'm putting up. Yo, shots. that motherfucker averaged like 37 a game. Do you know how hard? You know how stressful that. No wonder he was going to strip clubs and shit. He got to release some of that stress, man. Every morning, every day you go to the arena, you know you got to drop damn near 40 every night for your and and have 10 assists yep. <laughs> every night. <laughs> he had to have that. Like, I get it. It's easy to bag on Harden, but them years in Houston was special. Just go back and watch some of that shit. That shit was special that she was doing. <laughs> but the um, early back, years. Early before years. Before the foul baiting years. Yeah, yeah. Before all that foul baiting shit, which I hate that shit so much. I see it so much now. I've been seeing, I, I was watching the game last night, and Jeremy Grant was doing that. Dog, you're not getting them calls, fam. Just shoot the ball and stop I mean, onto the ground. He wasn't. He might get those he, calls, bro. He Team wasn't. USA right there. What's but I was watching. Listen, but this is the thing. I watch. What game? Who was it? Was it Pel- Pelicans Blazers? He was not getting them. He was falling to the ground like four straight possessions, not one whistle. Not one. And he was making the shot. Like and the Blazers are an experience. Yeah, like I hate the foul baby. But back to the Mavs. I think this is another team that can make a deep run if they get their shit together. But like you said, Jonah, or Zoe, one of y'all. We've seen them make the Western Conference Finals with less. With less. And like you said, you don't want to play them in the first round. You don't. And all, and I've seen some crazy shit, uh, from, especially from the Clippers. The Clip, I've seen Clipper fans say, I don't want to play. I can, I'm scared of nobody. No, he's scared. Of, I'm okay with playing the Lakers in the first round. If they're the Clippers. I can see no, uh, Clippers listen, fans having li- Dallas trauma listen, still. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Don't That's kid yourself, Clipper hey, fans. should have took care of business. Yes, you do. You do not want to play LeBron James and Anthony Davis in the first round. You do not want that. That's the crazy shit about the West is <laughs> even... like You can find a bad matchup for any team from 5 through 10 right now. You can. Warriors in the Clippers. 10 spot, but there are teams that won't want to still you still want to play Steph Curry in the first round. I want to play them dudes in that Man, get the hell on out of here, you man. You want to face been... Booker and KD. Hey, you don't want to face Zion on, even. I'm terrified to play Zion. He hates us. Like oh, yeah, you, yeah. he always goes off against us. I don't want that damn. to happen. There's so many the damn teams. Pelicans. It's I found out this week crazy. that's a I found out that's a interesting fan base. Um can't believe a fan base like that talk like Talk like they talk with a team like that. It's interesting. But anyways, um, any more thoughts on the Mavs trade, man? I think we know what it. Um, the one thing that's interesting is they gave up a first to get Grant Williams, and then they attached another first to get PJ Washington along with Grant Williams. Oh, so it was so, it was wheeling and dealing, doing their thing. They're trying their best, but it's oh yeah, and, and they got rid uh, of uh Scary Terry, so they was they was dumping shit, and then uh shit, this next team. OKC, they traded for Gordon Hayward, so the Horn is just getting. Re- they like, hey, Horn is been out. so involved. Get the fuck out! Like now, you did not. Now I'm looking at this like, the damn, they, they have been involved a I lot. Look but at the team roster because I, I, I didn't know who they had right now. There's been so much shit going down with them. But shit, this would this this would have they didn't move uh, Bridges. He had to weird, agree, weird. didn't he? Oh, he had yeah, to agree. he had to agree to that. And he's only on like a six. Co- it's the weird the qualifying offer because nobody yeah. ever accept the qualifying offer, and he just had to because of the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he didn't only know that shit because of two K because it just happens here and there. Yeah, like, why I wonder. Have a no trade clause. What's going on? I wonder what teams was interested in him for him to be like, nah, I'm straight. 
Phoenix was the noise. Oh yeah, but Phoenix. I, don't I wonder it, why. I don't think it amounted to anything. Probably not. I don't think Charlotte was cool with that. It was like Nas Little in a couple of seconds or something. Oh, you didn't want. I mean, I guess if he's gonna, he was walk, only making like six something. mil too. Yeah, so that, that contract he may not even be going weird. to Charlotte in the summertime. Who knows? But, but who the Hornets got in this trade? They got Trey Man. I don't know how to say this man's name at all. Michi Vasilich. There you go. Davis Bertans. Yeah, he put Davis Bertans and two second round picks. Gordon Hayward is still hurt, right? I believe so. That's I don't like this trade for OKC. I don't know if I like. Gordon Hayward with this, I don't. I get they're probably trying to get a veteran, a veteran, but I don't. I don't know if I like this with the chemistry they I have. Think... I would have liked for them to see them in a series before you start making trades to see what you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? I think his role is going to be so not minimal, but he's not going to get 24 minutes a game with this team. Oh, he shouldn't. So you give shouldn't. him 12 to 16. That veteran presence for that playoff run, and he has experience. You take it I for guess. Trey Man, Davis Bertans. Like these guys were at the end of the bench anyway. So go ahead, yeah, and do I, something that you know you make you, you make sense three there. Guys got one. No, yeah, yeah, you y'all make sense with that. Worst case, you don't, don't play, play that him, much. You weren't playing those other guys. It's it's yeah, all yeah, like yeah. the Wolves trade, which we'll talk about. Uh, but yeah, you no, y'all guys, right. you don't play for a guy that could play in your rotation. And yeah. what's his contract? He's in the he, last year of his deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's one of them. Oh, okay. Well, fuck it. That that, he was that a buyout. Contract. They were saying he oh. might be a buyout guy, but then OKC yeah, fuck swooped it. in. And... See, I didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get that just fuck it then. I, I'm with y'all then. Like, it's like, whatever. It's hard point. to gauge where he's at, too, because yeah. the injuries have derailed him. Hey, I just... Damn. I want him to, I want to see him on the floor, because we're all fans of Gordon Hayward when he is healthy. So, if he's out there he getting them eight points and four rebounds, like, I'll take it. Oh. Even if he's just sitting in the corner and shooting for 10 minutes a game. Exactly. It's better than some of the options they're Boston. throwing out there right now. He had to take his ass to Boston. That damn ankle injury <laughs> fucked it up for him, boy. Kyrie yeah. threw him a hospital ball. Didn't he? People don't talk about that shit enough. That OP threw was atrocious. Hit it. Horrendous. I exactly where I was when that one went down. I would never forget that it. That was some shit. I would never forget it. I would never Boston forget that been day. through some crazy stuff for their, their yeah. big acquisitions. Oh yeah, damn, Lin Bias, him and peace. Kyrie, oh. Kemba, <laughs> Kemba. I mean, uh, just in the last like five years, they got some crazy. Isaiah ones. Thomas, the short one, the shorter, shorter one. The short. That was a fun <laughs> run. That was. A it fun. was a fun was run a fun. though. I ain't gonna they lie. did him so wrong too. Dirty, dirty dog. Dirty. Got some old, uh, old. I think it was. I don't know what All Star game it was, and I saw little Isaiah Thomas running around out there. I'm like, damn. That's crazy. Damn. I forgot about that. What? What's he, 5'6"? He looked little as fuck out there. 5'7"? He he's like 5'8". 5'9". He's not even lying about height. Generously. Yeah, you know they lying. But, um... Uh... Who else? Oh, the Wolves, shit. The Wolves traded or acquired money. Oh, they did trade for him. Or was it... They traded for him? Okay. Little they move. did. They traded... Mm -hmm. They got Monty Morris... And they traded away to the Pistons, Troy Brown Jr., Shake Shake. Milton, in a uh, second round pick, one second round pick. I like that for y'all. 2030. You, you said that's what you wanted. Oh, 2030? Oh, damn. Second round pick, too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. Yeah. Got that's that, right. That's what you want? Nobody's yeah, thinking about it. them, what, eighth graders? <laughs> Seventh yeah, graders? Exactly. Like, man, fuck them kids. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Like you said, seven, that's seventh grader right there. <laughs> right, we ain't worried about that. It's 2024. You want a 30? Take it. Second round? That's, crazy. Yeah. that's yours. But this is what you said y'all wanted. You wanted a, another point guard. Somebody who can control some yeah. shit. Uh, I mean, he's literally known for not turning the ball over, and we have turnover issues, so that's that helps right there. He's bigger than Jordan McLaughlin. Got playoff experience. He's got ties to our GM. Oh, okay. He just got to get Who back did? and play in shape because he had the big yeah. injury. I think yeah. it might take a little while, but if you can trade two guys that weren't in your rotation, didn't have trust from their head coach for a guy that could be a part of your rotation, mm -hmm. there's not really much downside. No. If it doesn't work not. out, it's like, oh, those other guys weren't playing anyways. So Yeah, facts. No, facts for sure. I like that for y'all. See man, the like debut said. tonight? See oh, yeah, yeah. 
they're going to be they're, they're actually starting right now as we speak there's so much shit going on i got to check out juju that's going on <laughs> shout out, man I, hey that's now this is a good this we're going to have to go out there and see i got to see her ass know. live at some point she got to go play ahead, 3 bro. years she got to play 3 years hurry up and catch brownie too he got to play for you <laughs> I'm not gonna do him like Damn. that. I ain't gonna do Brownie like that. I ain't gonna do Brownie. That's team USC is bad on the men's side. They're, they get cooked every time I look good. They getting cooked. But uh, yeah. uh, who else? Who else? Uh, made a trade for move on to this All Star stuff. Oh, the Sixers. They got Buddy. I Hill. don't want to include all the details of Buddy Healed because it was yeah. very. You ain't, got, you ain't got to do all that. It was right. a lot of seconds and players that don't play. So I just yeah. put Buddy Healed as a 76er. What was it with the Pacers kept wanting to get rid of him? I did not understand that whatsoever. I don't think they wanted to pay him, and I think they wanted to play their young guys more because they kind of have a log jam they do. around their oh. guards, wings. They do. Yeah, they got a lot of guards. They do. Damn. That makes sense, then. But it is a big part of their offense. It is. Running, it is, shooting. bro. They shoot. And he was a big part of them. He was big. They he was part of space, those. That yeah. Is buddy healed. <laughs> Yeah, like he was huge for that. So we'll see. We'll see from there. But uh, that's all for the big they trade, y'all. They got Kyle oh, yeah, Lowry too, and they and they Sixers. got Kyle Lowry we'll in the up. in the um buyout market. They picked up we don't Kyle know, Lowry. We don't know what to expect until indeed. Yeah, man, I don't understand. Too. Yeah, I would have kept Pat. Bell. He was doing exactly what they bring in Kyle Lowry to do. We got but worse. Campaign. We've actually like, seen what? Pat Bev play better than Kyle Lowry in the last couple seasons. Honestly, he's been more right. healthy, too. Yeah, like, what are we doing? And then you sent him you sent him to a rival. And it's a good fit. Right, you sent him to the Bucks. that needs defense on the perimeter. And a, and a big That's vocal person. all Giannis person. needs is somebody locking up and shooting Yeah, what the three. fuck? I don't understand what Philly doing. Did not understand that. But, uh... Um, off these trades, if y'all need to just go to NBA.com. If you need to know more about the trade, you know, maybe we're going to start doing a newsletter or some shit. We got so much in the tuck. Maybe we start doing a it's newsletter. So shit down. Yeah, it's so much stuff, you know, but anyway, yeah, we got a little, little something for y'all, you know, but anyway, we get the All-Star Weekend coming up. Uh, all different events was announced. I missed some of these. The skills competition. Uh, if y'all missed them too, we got the team Pacers, team top picks, and team All Stars. So basically, team Pacers is gonna uh, be represented by Halliburton, uh, Matherin, and Miles Turner. Uh, team top picks is gonna be Bancaro, Ant, and Wimby. That is crazy. That is that's crazy. That is- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's nuts. That's the ant interaction to Wemby. That's yeah, that's be nuts. Something. Oh, and the then, clips are gonna be great. Yeah, that this gonna be that's gonna be fun. And team All Stars: Scotty Barnes, Maxi, Trey Young. Hey, it's gonna be some elite shit going on in this skills competition, man. Everybody hey, they pick, we don't have the uh, Ante de Coom Bros. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not the- that, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be interesting, man. Uh, it's cool uh, they got for- some more guaranteed talent, like they got. Trey and they yeah, got, they got the all stars, and the, it, it's it's just a higher, better talent this year than they had last year. It's a good year, mix. Cool. Who y'all got? I just hope they have a good setup for the competition. Like, I know they switch it up every now and Honestly, then. Honestly, I so completely forgot what the solid. format is right now. I forgot how it was last year. But who y'all got to win this shit? Who y'all picking? Team first, first picks. I'm rocking with him too. I'm rocking with him. And yeah, I think I'm going with I'm thinking I'm going with team top picks as well. I think I'm I'm with y'all on Who's that. Who's gonna one. guard Wemby? I'll Look, be rooting for the guy. Trey Young on Wemby. Let's see what happens. We don't they don't gotta guard each other. They just do like the skill no, stuff. No, that's right? what I want. Play three. Oh, three I got three, what you now, like a little three oh three. <laughs> Bruh, that will be fun. Run that a little drill yeah, when you have, you win the one side, you go to the other side, you play them. If you lose yeah. that team, I like across. that. I like that. We need that some high school open gym type of shit. I like high that. School, high school practice type. Yeah, shit. I like that. I like that. I like the idea. I like that. Um, you score. This is you all gonna be all, first two and 11. this is all gonna be on the uh, interactive court, right? It's all that shit's gonna be over I there. I believe is. I think everything's gonna be on that. But not the All Star game too. No, 
I don't think the All Star Game is, but oh, I think okay. it's a Saturday night. But you know? everything Friday is Friday and Saturday going to be on that. I don't know about Friday either. No, just Friday, say that. Saturday, Saturday. I would think. Get the fun. Uh, probably just Saturday. You might be right. But at the same time, a guy playing a whole game is probably just as dangerous as a guy trying to do a three sixty dunk on the court. So I mean, yeah, what yeah. we'll see. How is this gonna? Is it gonna be slick? <laughs> I'm this holding weird. my. I'm holding the it insurance back. I'm waiting is still to, the same. I'm oh waiting my. for it to go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, our friend, our friend Sean Little, he going out there. He got some work to do for uh, NBA TV. So hey, that was he gonna be able to, seeing him yeah, on so, so he's gonna be um, see that shit Saturday. I can't wait. I'm like, you definitely gotta let me know how that shit look in person. You know how shit is oh, in yeah. person, and then when it's, the when you watch the, the show, atmosphere. yeah, exactly, exactly. He got to go. He went to the um, to the play in championship. So he and he basically was like, that shit was dead. It was like the crowd wasn't what you saw yeah. on TV was basically like what you, like what you yeah, what was going man. on there like it was the same but I'm interested rough. to see how that shit's gonna be on Saturday night with the with the court the NBA be trying shit not saying they gonna keep it but they, they try we'll give them so that you, we give them that but we got a clean sweep for the skill competition I have not looked over the um. The three point contest. So all, all, not all the names are gonna be new to me, but some of these are, like uh, Malik Beasley, did not know, Jalen Brunson, Halliburton, Lillard, Markinen, Mitchell, Trey Young, and Cat. That's a good. Dog, I might be going with Cat or Trey Young. You know what? I'm gonna go with Halliburton. I'm gonna go with Halliburton. The hometown boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Halliburton. <laughs> it's cool Which to I see for- that um, Halliburton and Trey are all. They're both. They're in two different competitions back to back. There. Yeah, I like cool. that. So, oh, didn't put that together. They been they being involved. I'm gonna go with Halliburton. I, Jonah, I feel like you're going with Cat. Cat going go with Cat number- or Malik Beasley. My, my I was boys. about to ride with Malik Beasley. Oh, shut up. He could fuck with around Cat, with but it. Malik will be my second place favorite. Like. I don't see Jalen Brunson like, defending the crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like when when people when you win something, you gotta be that shit next year. You gotta defend it. You gotta, you gotta. I defend guess it kind of is too because he was injured last year. So I'm glad. Oh yeah, I this is gonna be. Him to be back I thought like this is gonna be fun. I feel like this is gonna be. He's fun. gonna be there anyway. So. Yeah. Um. So who you going with? Malik Beasley. That's, okay. Okay. It up. Okay. Beasley. Um. Since we're still talking about three-point competition, are you going with Sabrina or are you going with Steph? Who y'all got? I'm rocking with Sabrina for the I'm rocking with Sabrina. I'm rocking with Sabrina, man. Hey, man. Y'all going to go some against love. Wardell? I want to see Make Me a Wardell? Sandwich Twitter go crazy. Hey, hey we need this. <laughs> I'm all for that. And let me tell you something. If Sabrina wins the dialogue on Saturday on Twitter, it's going to be epic. I can't wait. Oh, God. I saw they I released wait. some more details on it. I think it's I just going to be wait. like a big fundraiser. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Based on what I make. But I'm going with Sabrina, man. Make it fun, dog. It's we know what Curry they can do. When... We know what Curry can do. <laughs> we know this. Remember when they did that thing where they had like celebrities shooting threes and nobody could make one? I don't remember that. I hope they don't do it again. I think like Kevin right. Hart was out there and shit. Oh, when was yeah. this? Like during like the celebrity that. game or like Saturday that was a few night? Years back. I hey, don't all remember I know that. Is this will be a lot better than whatever that was. I don't remember. I do know I one. Bad. One celebrity. One All Star Weekend recently. I did not watch. Nothing on that Saturday or that Friday. That's probably it. That probably you when I was. <laughs> I didn't. I watched <laughs> the game, but I didn't watch nothing on Saturday night on Friday. I forgot why. But I just didn't. Um. Yeah, I'm going with Sabrina, man. I don't know if it's like a is it like a straight up three point competition. Like, how are they doing this? I didn't read no rules on none I of that. I think it's shit. the same. I was looking at it earlier. I didn't see my details. None of that. So, did you see anything? I didn't see nothing. <laughs> we got the whole. Hey, and he judged. He said, "Y'all pay hey, her over Wardell." Better over Wardell. Sometimes it is better just to sit back and let it happen, and then react. Yeah, because yeah, like. Sometimes when you read the rules, you be like, ah, you go, you go into it feeling a certain way already. So, I mean, at this point, if we find it, you find it. If not, fuck it. But 
Yeah, we got Rising Zoe, Stars. Zoe, Zoe is not with us. He is, going, he is definitely going with Wardale. He is not going with Sabrina. He is not yeah, on I'm, that. I'm a Sabrina fan. Like, I'm trying to get the shoes. That's going to be my next shoe to hoop in. Sabrina got a shoe? Yeah. She got a couple, actually. Right? She does. They don't, I don't know why yeah, they don't just make it. I don't know why they don't make the cosmic, the little co- cosmic shoe, Asia Wilson shoe, because she's the one that put that shoe on, really. Her and AD. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. WNBA yeah. Twitter got in the big, uh, don't get them started on Asia versus Sabrina shoe talk. Yeah, bro. Okay. That's how, that's it how. It gets I... nasty. It gets nasty over there. That shit was nasty because after you said it, like she does, she does have a shoe because, like you just said, Twitter just <laughs> went left with it. It don't make it no better yeah, that one's man. white and one's black. So I make it worse off the jump. I mean, that, that's literally half of the... That's half, yeah. That's, that's basically... Yeah. That's all that yeah. shit is. That's all... That's just good marketing. Come on now. <laughs> 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 hey, oh. Magic vs. Bird? Come on now. Man. Hey, you yeah, always got to that th- TikTok. Oh, my God. If y'all have not seen the TikTok with the... <laughs> The AI version of the, of the white version of all these star NBA players, you know they black. It's not not too many. Me. Kyrie Irving is Aaron Rodgers. You ain't seen that? I have not seen it. Nah. We're going to see you this shit as soon as we're done, bro. You ain't seen it? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was something. Bro. It was something. Dog. Nah, let me tell you like this. Michael Jordan looked like a ball um, John Paxson. Scotty Pippen looked like Adrian Brody. Straight up. <laughs> Kyrie looked like Aaron Rodgers. I see, I see that one, though. Shaq was like Stone Cold. No, Charles Barkley was Stone Cold. Dog, what else? This is bad. I'm going to have to share it. It I'm was some to, shit. We're going to have to share that shit so you can see that. But uh, <laughs> um, Then they had a black Larry Bird to cap it off. Yeah. Oh, my God, dog. That shit, that shit killed me. I said, they dumb as hell for that shit. But it was funny. <laughs> you remember that? That Twitter account that put the waves on Woj. Oh yeah, with the ear, with the AirPod. I love, that. I love yeah, with the stud, everything. <laughs> I love that picture. Oh, that shit was funny. Um, Woj was cooking uh Shams too. He won like eleven to five and Woj? he had to make oh, a comeback. You know, score? they was keeping oh. no, not me. You know, Twitter Always. was Twitter was keeping score. I saw Always. it. It was eleven five and then one for Pat Bev because he broke his uh his deal on his. His podcast uh, Twitter handle, but and uh, then went live on on YouTube right after. Yeah, yeah, hilarious shit. This is the new media for real. That's basically what it is. Like, <laughs> I, I used to I used to watch Marcus Draymond's Morris every time after reports. each game. So what now? We got we got him breaking supposed Marcus Morris reports to the Wolves. Yeah, yeah. twelve thirty that night. Yeah, crazy, crazy shit. Um, hey, I got some tweets off. It gave me. Yeah. I was bored. <laughs> oh, I know. That's how I've been recovering. So sometimes I just doze off, fall asleep. So then I just be up in the middle of the night, just on Twitter, watching <laughs> shit. Twitter at night, dog. On Twitter at 12 Jesus, Jesus Christ. I like, wake up to some bullshit from y'all, I swear. Dog. <laughs> third I shift Twitter? Some random look, third, look, third shift Twitter is... I don't know what the fuck be going on. What the hell? Oh, man. If you don't know, 12, 12.30 at night, Twitter will fuck you up. The shit that be going on, the arguments that be happening, because L.A. is still up. The West, the West Coast is still up, still doing bullshit. <laughs> like, God damn. Oh, but anyway, um, Zoe's going with, uh, with Wardell. Me and Jonah going with Sabrina for the uh, record details. three points. Looks like uh, each three oh, is going to be $1,000. <laughs> And the money ball is gonna be two K, and then like the starry range, like the logo shot, that's gonna be three K. So then they just add it up for mm. a little charity. Come on, Sabrina, come on, do, do their thing. Hey, do they do they sell W WNBA jerseys for, like men? Like, can you like do you have to? I'm sure they do. Do, you have, do they like convert for like a man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like their cut is different than ours, so I don't know. I've been. I want to get a few players, but it's like, dog, I don't, I can never really find one. So on Steph's shooting with NBA line, NBA balls. Sabrina shooting WNBA, WNBA balls. That's a good thing about that court. That shit's, they just got to flip the switch and it goes. Oh, 
yeah. <laughs> Wait, there it was go. switching. What does it do? Do it again. Hey, I'll get the sound bite cracking. <laughs> it's a one time only. Yeah, we have to pull it up. All right. Um. All right. Who in the yeah the dunk contest? We got <clears throat> little brother topping Jacob. <laughs> D-leaguer Mac McClung, Jaime Hawkes, that's how you say it, Jaime? I'm not going to say Jamie, Jaime don't come Hawkins. after me. Uh, He's in it, and Jalen Brown. You forget, Jalen Brown do have the bounce. He does have the bounce, but does he have hey, slam dunk content? Dunk. It ain't what he, he had six win. years ago. No. This ain't I'm Cal go- Jalen Brown anymore. No, I'm going with McClung to repeat. All respect. I'm going. I'm going with McClung to repeat. In the I'm big gonna Jacob Jacob Toppin for the fun. He's okay. springy. Yeah, he is springy. But other than that, I'm going with. I'm going Mac McClung. Yeah, How I gotta you? go Mac McClung, but I'm disappointed. Mac go stupid. Disappointed this, uh, in this get, four. If you're gonna have the G League guys come up, like that's cool. But like, we should still get four NBA players. You want to do two G League guys? You want to do four? I don't even care if you expand it. You know, a little more creative. Hey hopefully. man, Jacob Evans was practically a G League. Facts. God, that I was felt... a, ooh, that was a bad, yeah. <laughs> a terrible. Didn't year. then we used to get like when like when one was good dunk contest. Then we used to have like at least eight, six people, four back in the day. Did we have like more we than four more at one point? Yeah, yeah, like it used to be more than four. I, f- I feel like we used to have like At six to point. eight people. Like, because it used to be like hella people in that shit. Hella people. Then he used to have like two or three. Two like, he had like players. three rounds of that shit, right? Like three rounds of knocking out people till you get to. I thought so. Yeah, we got to check that shit out. But I'm not really looking like, to cool with way the back G-League when they had exposure. one, two, three, four, like, five, six, seven. Yeah. yeah. I knew it had to be. put the guys in there. Let's get I some feel NBA like, guys in there still. I feel like in 2003, it was four. They randomly had one, two, three, four, five, six in 2013. Then they had six again, six again, and then went back to four. Uh, the dunk contest should be first. No, I'm going to do them like that. It should be skills competition, dunk contest, and then let's do the three-point shit. At this point, the three point is more attractive than the dunk in the league, so it makes sense, bro. That's one thing I don't like when people when I see like the the anti women hoops crowd talking about dunking. We watched Saturday night Warrior Suns. How many dunks did we see in that game? Exactly. I remember one Wiggins. I remember one Wiggins put back. And then I think okay. I think Gary Payton Jr. or the second got a damn oop from somebody. Two dunks that we remember. And that's a maybe. And we talking about they don't dunk in women's hoops. Dog, we barely, the best players on the court Saturday aren't even dunkers. We just talked All about Joel Big Ass having like right. single Yo, digit dunks. Joel are <laughs> insane generational centers and they don't dunk the basketball. They don't even dunk the ball. It's a different game. Different game. Saturday night we had, you got KD, Curry, Booker on the court. They're not dunking. Curry's one of the most exciting players to watch of the 21st century, and he probably has like 20 dunks in his career. Bro. Let me go. Outside of that man. dunk, outside <laughs> of that dunk on KD just had on Giannis, I can't even remember the last time I saw him dunk the ball that ferocious like that. Yeah, like that, it's dead. I don't I can't like, drop it in there. Like he, right. Do y'all even I don't even see what well, I don't even see Booker dunk like that. Like seriously, say seriously. Like I get it. Your top guy, yeah, Ant gonna dunk still. Bron still dunk. Um, it's dunkers. But for you, for people to talk about women's hoops, then they don't dunk enough. Michael Porter Jr. Look, I'm talking to you and at this so point many, for sure. Like so many the, of the dudes lose their athletic. Like by t- 25, most of these guys have lost 25 of percent of their bounds. Right. Come on, man. Like. We've watched high level basketball. And if we're not watching the Lakers, because the Bron- cause they, they dunk, they, they don't shoot that many threes on that team. You don't see that many dunks night to night. If you're not watching the Lakers, you're not you, watching the uh, Bucks. 
When we do don't see dunks Curry all the time. Curry had his last dunk. What year? Curry had his last dunk. This 2024, 2021. 2022. It was the 2018-19 season. Yeah. Come on, dog. <laughs> KD was still playing with Five him. Five years ago. <laughs> KD didn't play on Let's his second look at this team. Roster. Come on, fam. That's what I'm talking Jordan about. Bell. Andrew Jordan. Bogut. DeMarcus Cousins. Bell. He just had a great interview on um, Sean Theo Livingston on his playing. podcast. Yes, Damn. he did. Dog. The last time Come. Steph Curry dunked. We got to stop yeah, lying. Actually, we got to stop lying. contest at the end? That's not a bad idea. That's it's the show not. these days. It's not. When you think about it. When we're watching. Think about all the basketball games you've got. We NBA games you watch. On a weekly basis, you know you see dunks, but you you're seeing them from role players. Giannis, he's not a role player, but you're gonna see it from Giannis. You're gonna see it from LeBron. Um, think about the other top top players. You think about they're not dunking the ball like that. <laughs> they're not mostly like blob threat centers. Luca, when the last time you seen Luca dunk the ball? I was gonna say in that <laughs> seventy three points, how many times he dunked the ball? Maybe once. Once. He throws, he pulls out a random poster out of his bag like once a year, and you're like, "Damn, where'd that right. come from?" And that's come on, it. man. These people aren't dunking. Zion, he don't play though, so that shit don't even count. Zion doesn't even dunk that's like that anymore. Thing. He's mostly he, just finishing around the rim. Yeah, like he had a, he had a, a strong ass put back against the Lakers. That shit was crazy. But all you Luka people has out there, two dunks this season. Who does two dunks? Luca, Luca has two dunks. Come on, man. Hey, you see that blob Kyrie had like last week? Oh yeah. yeah. Now, that was crazy. That was nuts. Out of nowhere. Very random. Yeah. Very random. But uh I want to get it out the way because man, people be talking about women hoops like that's some elite basketball sometimes, man. Yes, you're gonna get duds. We get duds in the NBA every week. Every night. I just love <laughs> that uh everyone is uplifting Kaylin Clark and shitting on men's basketball hoops are like there hasn't been a person with this much aura in in <laughs> men's basketball in 10 years. Are you crazy? Honestly. Zion was just at Duke. It's crazy. Are y'all... I saw that tweet like, y'all going too far now. Like, I get it. They lined the up the thing about that is that's a... It's just the long lasting F, like the effect of being there for four years in women's hoops. Exactly. Like, exactly. Even the, with Zion being there, it's like... I don't know. He was still I leaving. Like, I remember tuning in, but I wasn't trying to lock you in all the time. In? You're more excited for him to be get to the league at that point. Yeah, like because you know That's you know it. they're going to be there one year. Now you had Cam, RJ, and Zion for the next three years. Oh my God, three years of that same team. That, like you said, Kalen being there for four years that changes everything. So don't start watching women's hoops and start trying to shit on. The men's now, <laughs> like don't do that. Hey, but, I am, hey, the men's product do gotta get better. But. It does though, it does. And I'm gonna say it one more time. Switch the quarters. Get rid of one on one, and please get rid of the possession arrow. Arrow, please. <laughs> Why? Honestly. Why? It is very for. It is a little aged. It's definitely why? these a, dudes. It's time to at this least is do why, FIBA rules. Like this is why to do something. Real... This is why these dudes be more prepared in high school than doing college. It's not basketball. Like you go to the NBA, you got jump balls. You ain't got no one on ones. You got quarters, not a half. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you prepare these? How do you prepare them for that? So it's like, it's it's that's it's, why the world taking over. Yeah. No, seriously. Why? Why are men? They if you the, go, if you watch the a pro women's game their whole life, yes. If you watch the women's Except college the game anymore. and then watch the men's college game, the flow is completely different. The flow is so much different. You, if you just watching this, just watch it. It's so different. I know y'all watch. Y'all know what I'm saying. But it's like that shit got men's to change. College with offense me. has pissed me off so much. So what bad. is this shit? I actually what I is... saw this uh, Indiana State clip. Indiana State, they're fun. They are fun. Yeah. That I gotta like see this. Team. I want. I want. The Sycamores really are, coach the Sycamores are fun to watch again. I That's gotta check guy. this. Who? That's a fun squad. Josh Scherz, he's their coach right now. He's. Oh, okay. Got I a gotta fun check. Offense. I gotta check this shit out. 
I got you. I like. They got a you know center who was throwing dimes. Hmm. I think I, they're they're hey, top twenty five now. Really? Oh, they they moved up. They just got bumped up. Okay. Don't, <laughs> don't they're see the fun, them in March, They're my bro. fun mid major team to lock in on. Oh, I like me some mid majors now. Missouri Valley Conference. Yeah, you know I like that shit. You know, they play I like a good that. five out. Yeah, big man can hoop. hoop. He doesn't look like it, but big man can hoop. Okay. I did check them out. Indiana State Sycamores. All right, bet. Um, uh, we didn't have them a thing, but who y'all got winning the All Star game? All the West. And we go. It's who's your MVP? West. It's always the who, West. Uh, who's your MVP? I think SGA is gonna go out and have a big game. Oh, I like that. I like that. I feel like any team LeBron's on their team's winning. Did his team ever lose when they was doing the, the um the picking? The West had a crazy run for oh. a while. Yeah, they I don't did. think they did. I don't think the LeBron team lost in the the whole pick your team thing. Did he lose ever? I don't his know. Team? That's a good one. I don't think his team lost, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Start the jokes. What's, what's Anthony LeBron? Davis yeah, exactly. has what's had LeBron's uh, record as LeGM. <laughs> yeah. AD has had a uh, a track record for some big all-star games. So I'll rock with him, even though he's off oh. the bench. I'll rock with mm. him. Let's see. I didn't. I I asked y'all this question. I didn't even think about it, but because Tatum like the was S- crazy tryhard last year, I remember he did. But I think the he West is going to put up so many shots. I think the West is going to beat their ass. I really, <laughs> I really do. Like the East just don't, and they got hella. They got them injuries. I mean, but I feel like the West is going to run away with that shit. I'm gonna go with yo. Paul George is starting in the East, like right, like. <laughs> Hell yeah! What? Like, <laughs> AD is starting the he East. Was, yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna go with the old man. Should have known. I'm gonna go with the old man. I'm gonna go with Shocker. the old man. Are y'all shocked? Hell no, y'all not shocked. But I'm gonna go with LeBron. I don't know the last time he won an All Star MVP. I can't even think. It's been a minute. The only ones I can remember of recently are Westbrook going crazy for a couple. AD had a crazy one. Tatum, Curry. That's just off even, the dome. I don't even think LeBron won also MVP with the with the the second stint with the Cavs. I don't even think he ever won it with that. I don't think so. I think it was Miami. It was the I last think the time. last time it was Miami, it's really right? Random. It's the most random shit. For like, it's very. Yeah, I don't even know who holds the record for that. Is it Jordan or Kobe? I think Kobe. But we got like four of them. Sometimes Kobe got like four or five. <laughs> so I think the trophy's named after him now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Kobe I has think he four. Got like, he got four. And Bob Pettit has four. Bob Pettit. Uh, he played play for the Hawks, right? 50, yeah. Yeah. White dude. Yeah. White dude. <laughs> he, got white, he had like yeah. a black and white picture on his 2K card. Yeah, yep. That's so he has four. Know. So him and Kobe All had like four. chest hair coming out of his jersey. Yeah, yep. Um... Who who's second? Bob Pettit. How many Jordan second, in the three? Jordan has three. Shaq has three. Braun has three. Oscar Robertson has three. Come on, Braun. Go get number four. Fuck it. Go get number four, Braun. Hey, I number Tatum four set will the definitely record. be his last year no matter what. He's going to get that one. I forget mm. that uh, Tatum set the record last year for most points in a game. Damn, for real? 55. Oh, yeah. What's the... What's the over-under score? Uh, man, what's the over-under for this shit this year? 300? More than that. It was 180 to 170 last year. I was going to say 363 and a half. And think about this year. Teams are scoring 140 without it being an all-star team. Can we talk about that historic Laker game we watched? They ran it up. What was the score? Oh, who did play the Pelicans, right? Yo, my yeah. God, dog. They almost had, they had 87 and a half time. Half. Bro, I wanted them to hit 90 was, so you bad. You said defense is on the couch with us. That's on the mean. couch. Defense is on the couch with us. <laughs> Yo, chilling. Speaking of stuff just right around the league, <laughs> Wemby had a uh, triple double tonight with blocks. Oh, I saw he had eight. I didn't think he was going to get to. Man, this Damn. man, Wemby, is. Box office yeah, already. That last one Box too. <laughs> office already. I would be. Man. Is this the worst he's going to be until he's like. He's not even playing old. full minutes yet. 
Yeah, what did this man play tonight? Let me go look. Man, what did he start averaging like 35, 38 minutes a game? What? Ugh. What did he start getting? He doesn't even have an NBA body yet. He played 29 minutes this 29 season. minutes, dog. Come on, man. What? He had five assists, and he had all those assists within his first 10 minutes of the game. Come so. on, man. And then he went to work. This man, this child. Yeah, child. It's... He does not have an NBA body. He's not even playing 35 minutes a game yet. 10 to 14 shooting for 27 points also. Oh, God damn. Cheat code. Hey, man. What? Listen. Listen, man. The world is taking over. They have caught up. If we don't get our act together, it's going to be a problem. Get your shit together, young men. Shit. These, these dudes from overseas is not going to give a fuck about us being from America. They ain't going to fuck about that shit no more. They want to take it. Them they dream team it. days are over with. This is not 1992. There, there is no go to the Olympics. We're going to win the gold medal. No. Them the days Olympics over just with. getting more fun year by year. <laughs> yeah, like, no, you got to work now. None of that, Somebody, none of that other shit. I want to watch Rudy next to Wemby on the court at the same time. Oh, oh my, my God. God. They both are French. Wemby at the four? Seven, four, Wimby. and seven, one out there. Isn't what the, are you going? Both can play like defense. The, both can move in the pick. Come on, Zakari, man. whatever. He French, right? Yeah, they got another. Yeah. There's another French prospect that's getting some Come noise on, around. I mean, he's gonna be. He's probably top five right now. This is so. this is insane. Um, Lolly's doing his thing in Washington, figuring it out. Yeah. So. Yeah, he is. Evan Fournier put up 13 that game. Fournier hey, will he go gonna, crazy if he's in a oh, French uniform. He oh, will he will go, go nuts. <laughs> oh, he's going to be ready for that shit. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, um, too. Like, even Slovenia does well in the qualies just because of Luka alone. Like, these mm-hmm. players will yep. carry the load. Oh, yeah, they will. Oh, they definitely will. Um, man, What else? What else? We got some good game. Oh, of, we didn't really talk about it, but Warriors... Suns was excellent. These Saturday night primetime games, man, they've been good. Delivering. They've been good. Like, Saturday night was elite bucket getting. <laughs> that fourth quarter was elite shot making. Booker, Curry, even KD did some shit, but I want even y'all. Draymond was getting some buckets. Listen, I was just going to talk about Draymond. His antics made y'all <laughs> forget how important he really is to the Warriors. Antics aside, this dude is important to the Warriors. And the Warriors have drawn the line in the sand. when he's on the court. Yes. They've drawn their line in the sand about this core. Clay is out. Clay? Yo, Clay with the towel on. That was hard to see. I was like, yeah. dog, he, he was not <sighs> in hurt. there for crunch time. Bro, he did not play like the last six minutes of the fourth quarter. That was some messy mm. dialogue. Some people were like, He's talked all that shit. I don't have any remorse for him. Like, come on, bro. Like, yeah, dog, I don't that... care if you like him or not. He's he only said because the injuries. He could talk all that shit back then. Like, he could. Yeah, I had I a quote. I had a quote I had pulled up. I don't know if y'all shit saw talking one hundred and one on Twitter is crazy. Always crazy. Um, let's see. Here's a quote. He said, "Clay Thompson says he's open to a reduced role if it means staying with the Warriors." Her. Logan M. Murdoch. No clue who this man is. But I'm pretty sure he's like probably a beat writer or some shit for the Warriors, probably something like that. But the quote, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be 35 next year at 35 coming off ACL and Achilles. Hey, I forgot That's about crazy. that. I forgot about that shit. It was back to back. Um yeah. and still Two have seasons. the ability. Yeah, one of those still have the ability is bad. Yeah, but... yeah. Facts. Like, he'll forget what he did. But uh, to ability to be a really good player, maybe not the guy who scores 60 in three quarters or scored NBA record 37 in a quarter, but still a great threat out there. I've modeled my game after Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, and those guys were effective until their late 30s. So I plan on kind of following that mold. I don't know it's going to be with the Warriors because our price tag. But it just depends depends. on how much money he wants. Yes. But if he really is open to that, Clay Thompson could definitely be a Ray Allen in a Ray Allen role for a championship team. 
And I'm not saying I know shots. Laker fans is going to get fans. crazy. I know Laker fans, they don't even got a, they ain't got, I don't think Lakers got enough money for the, the vet minimum next year. I don't even think they got enough of that. <laughs> like, please. They can sign a trade. These tax Something. rules are making yeah, it are. difficult on anyone. But anyone I do that's think doing Clay. Well. Oh, yeah. I would love Clay. Clay to go somewhere and just like that I just shit hope up. he stays on a competitive team. Yeah, I don't want, don't go nowhere. I'd rather we don't want Clay Tony retire. Parker on the Hornets. Yeah, we don't want that. Don't go, yeah. That was, don't go anywhere. I still can't Stay believe that happened. Or retire. Exactly. I'd rather Clay retire before he goes somewhere and be on the Wizards. Go be on Oof. the damn, like the Hornets, some shit. Don't go do that. Be somewhere they need you. Who needs that shoot? Who don't need a shooter like that? Clay is still knocked down. You don't want to leave him yeah, as open. He's a threat out there, bro. <laughs> Regardless, like, <laughs> you don't want to leave him open, period. So, like you said, go to a contender. Um, I know I had saw that. I wanted to say that shit. Share that with y'all. See if y'all saw that. Um, let's see. What else I have for y'all? Oh, a player I want to talk about real quick was Brandon Ingram. Because I feel like Brandon Ingram is in that, like, he's lost in that. All these other stars coming up are having these big scoring nights. And he just there doing his normal 21, 21, 21, 22, 23. Is this Brandon Ingram? Like, his career high is 49. Like, I'm still shocked. I thought he scored more than that at one point. I thought he had, like, a 50-burger at least. But Brandon Ingram, I've been paying attention to him closely the last couple weeks, and he's good. He just don't. We don't talk about him. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like tricky. it's always he's a, a quiet range. twenty. Like you said, it's he's consistently getting that. Yeah, but he never has an outburst. But it's not a flashy yeah, it's not a flashy twenty. Like we know he can cook, he's gonna get his mid range, yeah. get some bucket, shoot three a little bit, but it's just not flashy. And with all the injuries that go on down there in New Orleans, like it's hard to check out a game and wanna watch them play. So yeah. that's going Honestly. against him too. And I looked at him like, damn, I didn't realize since like the 19, uh, 19, uh, 2019, 20 season, he's been averaging 23 or more every season. Like this season, he's down to 21, damn to 22, but still, like, you don't think about him. We think about SGA, we think about Ant, we think about Luca, we think about Trey Young, Halliburton. We don't mention Brandon Ingram. I just period. think he never took that leap that people he, wanted. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was wondering. I'm like, he just never, never did any. He never changed. Never went to the next level. Like, I think oh, yeah. the big thing that differs those guys, like you just said, is they can be in tough situations and still clearly show that they can affect the team around them enough. They're still gonna yes. need, everyone need help. That's yes, everybody. Is today's NBA. Yes. Like you can take anyone in their prime and throw them on a team, and they're still gonna need help in today's. Everybody era. needs just help. Loaded. Mm hmm. But, like, even like, I'm just imagining the Hawks if they didn't have Trey, like, they would be horrendous. Horrendous. Bad team to watch. Horrendous. Yeah. Dallas without like, Luka. We would never watch Mavericks take, games. I think the reason that so many other guys around SJ are having such good seasons is because of him. Like, yes. it's just the leap he's taking. The effort right there. The leap SGA has taken is wow. <laughs> like Halliburton's got the same situation too. He's got guys to throw lobs too. He's got spacing yep. to operate. It's mm -hmm. just the context is weird in New Orleans in general. Yeah, it I is. Think. I definitely want to. Identity is. Yeah, I definitely want to see what y'all thought about that. It was like, man, we just don't talk about him. Like everybody out here is having scorn big outbursts every day. And here is Brandon Ingram, twenty two. That's, a, that's another thing, though. The 20 point score, like, there's a lot of those nowadays. A lot of them. You kind of so just like this, in. Yeah, you got to, you want to stand out. Your brain attached yeah. To that. It's still weird. Now to get stand out, you got to average like 26, 27 a game, 28. 21, 22 is like, oh, you are, you a third option. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not. You could be coming off the bench. <laughs> yeah, ser seriously. You definitely could be coming off the bench. Like, come on now. Like, you and he's somewhere mm -hmm. where, yeah, Zion is the face, but he don't play. And you still don't have outbursts. Like, what the fuck? Like, who are they gonna go through? You, CJ, you got Trey Murphy, who's a bucket. 
he got dog. Don't leave him open. Don't leave Trey Burton. Don't leave He's Trey finally Burton. getting up to speed. Yeah. Don't leave him open. Sucks but that Dyson got injured. Yeah, it does. It does for them. Um, it was starting to roll a little bit, the Pelicans, a little bit. It was starting <clears> to get going, but I just wanted to know y'all thoughts on Brandon Ingram, man, because y'all seen the same thing I'm seeing. Like, it's just he never took that next leap like we actually been, thought. They've been active trying to make some moves, too. They were running on DeJounte, and they're still lacking. They're looking to make a center swap. I think they're looking at Capella and Okongwu a little bit. Mm. See if they could poach one of those. I think it's I definitely know, time to move on from Jason. Forward. It's definitely time to move on from Travis Kelsey's, Kelsey's brother. It's definitely time. Did you, see, did you see the tweet they put out today, the Pelicans Twitter? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I saw that shit. Um, Never yeah, seen man. those two in the same room. Yeah, you don't. Uh, oh, one more thing before we go to player of the week and get up out of here. Uh, big congrats to Shaq. First of all, I thought this already happened, but he's getting his, t- uh, his jersey retired with Orlando tomorrow night. I thought that shit already happened. Um, congrats, congrats to to Shaq for that. Like, what is that? Three, three, three teams franchises. now. God damn, shit. He's be but, I mean, he he deserved it. But I text y'all this shit. I don't know if Zoe saw it, but I started looking at Shaq stuff, and I started seeing stuff I didn't even realize I didn't know, and I didn't realize Shaq was a two time scoring champ. I had no idea that this happened. I guess if you think of the era, it's what like, years? who is he competing like 2000? with? 2000? It was. 1999, something like that? 94, 95, he averaged 29 points. Oh, even earlier. Damn. And then. Because he was sandwiched. 99, in 2000, Kobe. his MVP year, he yeah. averaged 29.7, so yeah. it was 30, basically. But He was sandwiched between Jordan and Kobe, and he was playing with one of them for half the time. So yeah, like, wild. oh, he got two scoring titles? And. I didn't realize Sha- how <laughs> people don't realize how dominant Shaq really was from his Shaq rookie year wild. all the way until 2002, th- 2003 season. He averaged 29 and 10 almost every year, bro. His rookie year was 23 and 14. But 29, <laughs> 30. That's 30 points. It's cri- it's for me, to me, I think it sucks. <laughs> I think it's right. Yeah, that's right. I think it's shape, man. Damn. I think it sucks that he only has one MVP. Probably. Right, but I get it. You came at a time in '92. Jordan was that dude, so you wasn't going to get that. MVPs have their weight. They always will. They always will. They always it's will. Trickier, but it's they shall. They shall always have their weight, man. Like Duncan got two in that time. Iverson got two. I got one. He was dominating. Steve Nash got two in a row, which I feel like should never happen. <laughs> nah. I, I'll give you one, but back to back, sorry. Just I can't one. do that. Just one. Yeah. I'll give you one. But I'll say I'll just say shout out to Shaq Man. Congrats again to you getting uh does he have a statue out there? He does for Orlando? In Orlando or LA? Orlando. Both. Because he has the L.A. one, I know. The L.A. one, yeah. Does he have I one with that Miami? that just got introduced last year. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Well, speaking of, speaking of, uh, damn, we got so much. Speaking of uh, statues, Kobe got his reveals. He's going to have, what, three of them, right? The one, then it's going to be him, yeah, and, him and Gigi, and then one, him with a 24 on. Um, I think it's like 13, maybe 14 players that only got that got statued. I think that's the number. I think a it's a good company to be in. Don't even know the list. That's a good company to be in. I'll, off the top, top of my head, Dominique Wilkins, which I didn't know he had one. That's another player. We're going to talk about him next week. What? Now, since you okay. said that, hold on. <laughs> since you said that. Yeah, yes. the hoops history ain't really. Listen, but look at Dominique Wilkins' numbers, dog. L- l- listen to this. Bam. He got He's a couple. Still with the team, too. Oh, he, he is. He's a, he's an announcer for them and everything. Dog. Mm-hmm. From 86 to 92, 93 season, he was averaging at least 26 points a game at that time. I'm not going to act like I've tuned in to Dominique Wilkins' highlights outside of the dunks. So. You should. Because I didn't, I didn't know. 
I always was mad that he didn't make the top 50. I always thought he should have been a top 50 player. He made the top 75. But when you go back and look for his career, for his career, he averaged 25, 7, and seven and two and a half. 25 points over your career is tough and for anybody. So he got it. Yes. Damn. So I found out this weekend he had, to take a, a look. he has a statue with the outside the Hawk Stadium. So I know for a fact he's one of them. Mm. That's crazy. But yeah, man, go check his shit out, dog. He was a scoring I had no champion. Clue the teams he played with at the end of his career. What the hell? Oh, crazy. Crazy ass list of teams he played with at the end of his career. He went and played Greece for one year and then came back and averaged 18 a game. Man, he got some crazy scoring <laughs> then numbers. Then went away for another year, came back to Orlando. The man averaged 30.3 in 85 86. Fourth year in the league. Damn. Who won MVP that year? I'm curious now. Yeah, because he got buried. second. Yeah, he got second. Dog. What? Yeah, Bird took 73 points of first point first place he's votes, a, and he took five, and that was it. So he got yeah. a little. He don't realize, little, man, he's a nine-time all-star, love. a seven-time all-NBA player. Dominique gets slept on, for sure. Because you just think him as a dunker. You don't know he, he, he was dunk. scoring like. Exactly. Dog, dog, it's one game. Him and Bird was going at it. I'm about to find it. I know it's going to be on the NBA app. I got. I know it's, I'm going to find it. Dig on into cool. that one. They was, they was going nuts. Back and forth, like scoring. Watch but, the uh, wild offensive process going down. Yeah, man. It's like you got to just, you got to go through that. You know, it ain't 2024. But uh, uh, I ain't got nothing else unless y'all got something else. I don't have nothing else news or anything before we move on to these players. What y'all think of this uh, Kobe statue? Oh, it my fault. I, I like this shit. At first, I'm like, I know what pose was going to be, but I get it to 81. So he picked that shit, but that's kind of hard. You know? yeah, he picked it, so can't be mad. Yeah. But I like kind of the iconic job. poses, yeah. rather than just yeah, standing like... there doing. Something I wonder like what the twenty four one's like going to be. Do that. I wonder what that. I would love for the when he's like standing with the ball, but in the crowd when they had one, I forgot was that the the year they beat the, mm. the Celtics. I think it was when he won his fifth one. Yeah, I would. I would love for that would be for for that to be the one, but we'll see. I didn't. I didn't hear when they were going to release each one. They say when yeah, I'm not one, sure. I didn't pick up on that. Other two, I didn't know either. But people are already visiting the statue out there. I've been seeing pictures of people going out there over the weekend of the Kobe statue. So I'm about to check that shit out at Crypto Arena, State you know, Center. If, if y'all, it's going to be State Center. Already having fun with being at a Crypto Center, man. Oh my God! Right, I forgot about that. His ass. himself. Um, um, but no matter, we can move on to this player of the week. We ain't got nothing else. I'm gonna go first. I'm just gonna say it out loud. I'm going to go first. My, I feel like somebody might have mine. I have a feeling because I've seen we Jonah talk about this person. Week. I've seen Jonah talk about this young man this week, so I was hoping. That's why I'm going first. But uh, my player of the week is Jaden Ivey. This young man, finally, finally, <laughs> for the last the five games. Of Monty Williams. Oh, my God. <laughs> for the last five games, he's been averaging 26. Four and four, shooting 51 from the field, 60% from three point, and 71 for free throw. I really, free throw got to get better. Three point shooting lately has been crazy. Dog, finally. We've been saying this. Why is it? Fuck the defense. Y'all are young. You need to figure out this man can score for you. Defense is going to come. He can. And he can score. He can score. He's a 6'4 <laughs> guard. Play him to his strengths. Come Please. on, man. Yep. Come on, man. That's my player of the week, man. He been going crazy for the last week, for the last five games. Up some crazy that numbers. Blazers game was actually kind of fun to tune in for. It was, it was. He was um, open. He actually had a thirty-seven point game this week against the Kings. He had twenty-eight points against the Clippers. You know, he, he man, he's been doing his thing. So finally, Monty Williams. The finally, are actually like a decent. They're not. They're not the a great watch. Listen, they're, they're not the worst ball. team in the league. They're fumbling by no means. Fumbling that first pick though. The uh they're about to pass up the they're about to pass yeah. up the Wizards. Yeah, yeah. About they're not the Wizards. They're not the worst team. are beating the Mavericks right now. Who's hurt for the Mavericks? Mm, That's the first thing I know. Who ain't playing? That's a they good question. By eight. Who ain't playing? That's what I need to know. Shit. Lively was the only one not playing. Oh fuck. Ooh. Hey, they're pros too. 
They're pros too. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's my player of the week. Um, who want to go next? So, so you go next. Who your player of the week? All right, all right. This person has been hooping for longer than a week. He was a guy I was trying to talk about coming back from the Christmas break, but it slipped through. But he's still been hooping, and this is the first week that it's translated to wins. My player of the week is Jonathan Kaminga. Ooh, he finally went four and zero last week. A hey, post haircut, he's been hooping. We all know it. He has. He went off on Steve Kerr, and he's a change. Hilarious. Man. Hilarious. Like I said, last <laughs> Whoever week. Whoever got in that man's ear and said that, do that. Woo! <laughs> That's some balls. <laughs> he came out rough. He, yeah. The agent <laughs> made the call. But he was putting up some big numbers, 28 and 10. He's constantly over 20 points. He's shooting over 50% from the field. He can't make a three for his life. For his life. He's putting up 20. Big energy guy, athletic. Happy to see him finally get some burn. Oh, yeah. And capitalizing on his time. Yeah, no facts. I'm with you on that. Like, I mean, I said to y'all Saturday, I'm starting to like this uh this this Warriors team. You can see, like, hey man, if you keep Curry and Draymond and get young dudes. Hey, the I'm not saying y'all gonna win that a championship. Game winner was the pass from Pajemski. Threw it about as far out as it possibly could, so it didn't get stolen. Yep. Yep. And you got Perfect. Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal. The ball ass. is in Curry's hands. You're yes, good. Yes, that's all you need. That's all you need. What a shot. God damn, what a shot. What a shot. But that's a good pick by you. I didn't even think about him, but he's been playing some great basketball. He played really good on Saturday night, too. Really good. He did. He hustles. Good he got too. hey. He got a little bag to him. He got a little. He know how to. He know how to split some through really, a double team. Really nice he know how to, little drives. Yeah, he know how to do. He's shifty. He, he yeah. plays his strengths. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Good pick by you. I like that. That's a solid one. I like that one a lot. That's a good shit. Who you got, Jonah? I ain't gonna lie. Those are both my options. <laughs> we already got one loaded up. Okay. Holy okay. shit. Okay. I know. I mean, part of it. Had to come three deep. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I had the two backups. Still got taken. <laughs> Amen. We still got one. So, I'm rocking with Denny Avdia for my player of the week. Oh, shit. Go Where's ahead. he at? Uh, last, last Washington. week. Washington. Washington. <laughs> Former Chicago Bulls remember. mock draft legend. Number four. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Uh, he averaged 18 points per game over the last week. 55% okay. from the field. 41 from three. Is that 10 rebounds? That is 10 rebounds. And oh. also four assists. A game. I, I yeah. like his ability to handle the ball. That was kind of like his big thing. Out of the draft. And then tonight, he also had 25, 7, and 3 in a win over the Mavericks. So Scoring Denny Avi. Wow. He's doing well, his thing. Wow. I'm just going to look at highlights. Kind of I'm not watching the Wizards game. I've been a fan just because <laughs> he has fun tools. He's just been on like a bad team where like you yeah. can't really showcase those things. Yeah. No facts. And who, let me see if a certain player played tonight. Okay, he did. He went one of twelve. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I just, I just like what he like. It's just a guy you want to have on the floor. He can defend a little bit. He can handle the ball really well. He can facilitate. He's got size. Mm -hmm. The shot is here and there, but it's mm -hmm. enough. You need yeah, players the shot like was that. A question mark, but you need players. Did See, not the Spurs. This... No, go ahead. This growth, the rest of these numbers from him, I'm surprised. This I haven't watched quick. him enough to even know this is a big growth, so I'll take y'all word for it. I gotta go look at some highlights now. It's kind of been steady. It's not like anything crazy, but you know, I had him pegged for like a 10 to 12 points per game score after two, three seasons. But <laughs> was it year four or five for him? Year five? I think he. I know he just got an extension. He might be year five these days. If you can't, it's, well, it's whatever year Pat Will is in, so he's in his fourth year. Yeah, yeah, year four. Oh, okay, Pat Will. Like, Damn, we talked about no um, bulls. Every year, his field goal percentage has gone up, his assists have gone up, his rebounds have gone up, and his scoring has gone up. That's all you so, can ask for, man. Keep improving, it's slight every time, but yeah, it's a contributor. Hey, he gonna find his way with a good team. Shit, yeah. you gonna find a way. Hey, you love his spot in the league. Some way, it's right. paycheck too. If you can score, you gonna if you got a skill and you good at that skill, a team gonna find you and need it. 
Yeah, he's a big you know wing, a big wing yeah. too. Can never oh. have too many. Never had too many wings. Can't go wrong with the no. size. No, you can't. Man, uh, shit. man, we had so one. We had an hour thirty. We been, we did good. Like we we got a lot yeah, of a shit lot. Yeah, to get through on, on that. Damn! Look at us. <laughs> we was potting. We were doing our thing tonight. Oh my god. Yeah, do y'all got anything else we get about here? I don't got nothing. I think I said everything. I think I said everything uh, I need Nick's to say. Nick's lost on some crazy shit tonight, so. I'm oh, sure I'm we'll to check that out. See what happened. I gotta definitely check. We'll gotta his, catch we'll up. This Wolves Clippers game. Yeah, we gotta catch up. Oh, oh yeah, shit. go ahead, go ahead. Uh, shit. Um, you know, like and subscribe on YouTube. Like and leave a comment. We're talk about on, the Bulls. We didn't do shit. So. Oh, you know, I was just on. Yeah, what I'm glad we didn't say? talk about the Bulls. I'm glad we didn't. But uh, fuck. Um, like wow. and subscribe, or leave a not a comment or five stars on Spotify and and Apple. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Leave a comment. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment on TikTok at Uncommon Commentators Pod or Podcast. You'll find it will pop up. Till next week. Peace.